Welcome back, Guardian. So today we're going to talk about the boss phase when it comes to the Grandmaster or the Master version of a Garden World. I don't want to ramble this intro, but I want to stress just how important it is that you don't start crapping on the boss right when the boss battle starts, because if you do that, you're going to summon so many waves of adds on you that you're just going to basically kill yourself by doing that. So I wanted to stress that, how important it is. Do not melt the boss. I'll explain it as it goes along, and this is a really easy boss to defeat when you use this method. I kind of frown on cheese methods, but I know that a lot of players are going to appreciate this. This is what I figured out in Year 1 of Destiny when this DLC first launched, and it still works today. But what you're going to do is you're going to DPS the boss until he summons adds. And then when he summons adds in that first wave, you're going to stop shooting the boss. Don't overkill him at all. Don't do too much damage. Start killing all the adds. You're going to do DPS after you kill all the adds and pull the rest of the adds out. It's going to be one more wave after this one, but just stay where you see me right now. All your teammates should be exactly where you're seeing me at. Keep planting rifts if you're on a Well Warlock, which I highly recommend one of you are on a Warlock with a Well Irradiant subclass. That way you can use Benevolent Dawn to keep popping rift after rift, basically. The third phase is going to be when you do DPS and he's going to move this time. It's kind of important that you have a damage over time grenade. You'll see right here that these two hobgoblin snipers come out, and I was going to tell the teammates to stop shooting because if you shoot them, they're not going to take damage from the damage over time grenade, and you can easily just burn them out. And what happened was they shot him, and then I tried to kill them before they came back after their shield phase, and they ended up killing both the teammates. So just be aware that if you have a damage over time grenade, just throw it at the doorway and let the adds burn out. Now the boss is going to move to his second position. Now it's important in this part because there's going to be two goblins that come out and then two snipers that come out on both doors. But you're going to pause for just a second. You'll see me pause and jump for just a minute and I'm waiting on the two snipers to come out because if I shoot my rocket right away, it's just going to shoot the two goblins and then I'm going to be stuck on a reload while two snipers come out and they can easily snipe you with one or two shots depending on if you got the right resist mods on. And then the other ads that come out of the opposite door are all going to pile up together so you can grenade them or throw one rocket out and immediately kill all the ads and then all you get to focus on then is the rest of the ads that are going to be around the Minotaur. So kill them. Don't kill the Minotaur just yet. Don't even set them free. Just focus on all the ads first. And now what you're going to do with the Minotaur is when you're facing the boss, the one on the left is the one you're going to kill and you're not going to touch the one on the right. In this situation, when we set the left one free, the other teammate was supposed to run up after I hit the empower melee and immediately kill him with a sword. And I ended up dying from that, which would have wasted a revive if that was a Grandmaster. So have communication. The team that I was on was a hunter with invisibility and a titan bubble, and they worked out really well. They were just some random people that I found on LFG, so shout out to them. But aside from that, they actually pulled the strategy off on the first try with me, so huge shout out to them. But here's where the main important part is, and that is when you jump on top of this doorway you see me, you're going to have one of your three teammates assign the role of a distractor. What happens is you're going to free the minotaur that you didn't kill and your third person who's a distractor is going to keep running around the far end of the map where the minotaur won't pay attention to you while your other two teammates jump on top of this doorway that you're seeing me on now and when you free the minotaur it's going to drop the boss's shield and he's going to be staying put the entire time until you finally just kill him so save all the ammo you can for this part especially if this was a grandmaster the light level that i met right here was a grandmaster level the two teammates i had with me were at light level but i was around 25 light under which would have been the difficulty of grandmaster but like i was saying the most important part that will make or break this entire strategy is having a player that does a poor job at distracting the minotaur if you're on well of radiance and you're one of the people doing boss dps it's important that you save your well of radiance until you're about to die in case the minotaur does see you then drop your well of radiance but until then keep dropping regular rifts using benevolent dawn if you're at a seven or up recovery you'll get your rift back by the time that it ends using benevolent when your other teammate is in there with you but that's pretty much it. It's a make or break strategy, all dependent on the distractor or the Minotaur. There's also another strategy going around where you can hide up in the rafters, you know, and jump up in there. But on Grandmaster, if your two teammates die during the boss battle, while you have somebody stuck in the rafters, they're just going to be stuck in the rafters. So this is really your only best bet aside from that. But as I was saying earlier, it's important that you do not crap on the boss and phase him down. Do DPS, kill the adds, DPS again, kill the adds all the way to the Minotaur phase, kill the left Minotaur, Free the right one, jump on the doorway, have your distractor distracting, and then melt the boss to your victory. You Guardians take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to subscribe for more content, I appreciate that. Or join our Beast Squad to support the channel on a Beast level. Also, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to go over the remainder strategy for the entire Garden World, as well as a support well Warlock with the weaponry that I'm using that works wonders in this entire Nightfall. But I wanted to separate that from the boss strategy video because I'm sure that most people are having more trouble with the boss than they are the entire Nightfall. So when Grandmaster comes out, they're probably going to want a short video tutorial on how to do it. And that's really the purpose of this. But until then, I'll see you all in the next video next time. Space.